Hi everyone and welcome to Math Sucks. This video is going to help you pass geometry. In this video we're going to go over how to find the area of a parallelogram. So we're going to do this by looking at the area of a parallelogram formula, what it is and how it works. Then we're going to solve two different examples and then you could try the practice questions on your own at the end of this video. So first just a little review of what area of a parallelogram is. So we have the formula here and so here's our parallelogram. So we have two parallel sides um, this way, and then we have another pair going this way. What we have here, we have labeled the height, H, and then down here is the base. This up here can also be considered the base. It's always just that longest side, and they, these are always equal to each other. The opposite sides are always equal when it comes to a parallelogram. So here is our formula. Area equals base times height. So it's super easy. It's super easy to remember. It's the same formula that we've been working with when we work with rectangles. I just want to explain that a little bit and why, why that is. Because um, this is a different shape. So why is this different shape have the same exact area formula? So I just want to highlight, see this little triangle here that kind of forms at the end of the parallelogram when we get the height. So if we were to take this triangle and kind of flip, rotate it all the way around to the other side and filled it in here. Or you could even see it like sliding back. You could see that this now creates a new shape. This creates a rectangle. So if we cut this off and place it over here, notice that we actually get a rectangle. So let's just, so we actually get a rectangle. So let's highlight this in a different color to see this new shape. So you can see this entire thing is now a rectangle. So that's where just a little background about why this formula works and where it comes and it'll also be easier to remember now. So now that we know a bit of the background of parallelograms and the area, let's look at our first example. So we need to find the area of the parallelogram where we have a height of four and a base of 12. So dealing with inches. So let's just write out our formula. We remember that A of the parallelogram is equal to the base times the height, or BH. So the base we see is 12. The height H is four. So plug these into your calculator and you're gonna get 48. So just something to keep in mind that's important when um, finding the area of a parallelogram. Because we're multiplying these two numbers together, we wanna label show that in the label when we put this together. So this is in inches, so we're gonna have inches squared. And that's our answer. So our next example, it's not, it's not exactly as easy, but it's still easy. So let's look at this. We need to find the area of this parallelogram. We have a base of 10. We have, we're not sure what the height is yet. We aren't given that, but we're given that this is 45 degrees and then this little piece right here is two feet. So, so I'm just gonna write out the formula. A, the area of the parallelogram is B times H. So, so far we know that B is equal to 10. And we still, we need that H though. So, so to get that, what information do we have? We know that we could work with this little triangle right here. So I'm just gonna make that bigger. So this is just this enlarged. Okay, so, so we're given this is 45 degrees. We know this is 90 degrees. So we know that a whole triangle has to add up to 180 degrees. So right away we should know that this other angle, missing angle right here should be 45 degrees. We have a 45, 45, 90 triangle. So that should sound familiar because we learned about special triangles before. And if you don't remember, um, I do have a video on that. You can check that out. But something special about these 45, 45, 90 degree special triangles is that there's a special ratio that they have with the sides. And once you know one side, you can find the other, the other two, if there's missing sides. Just a reminder of what that ratio is. I'm just gonna write it over here real quickly. So 45, 45, 90. So the ratio is always A, A, A red two. So knowing that, we can look back at our triangle that we have from our parallelogram and see that a is equal to two, right? Because this is a side down here, so a equals two. So that means this side also is gonna equal two. And then this side, which we don't even need to find, but we can, is a two rad two. So this is just using that 
reference special triangle that we know. Knowing that we can now go back into the parallelogram, if we place this back in here, we would know that the height is now equal to two. And now that we have our height, we can plug this into our area of a parallelogram formula and get two, 10 times two, the height. And then to complete our answer, we're just gonna put 20 feet squared. And that's our answer. So if you're looking for more questions just like these, check out the practice questions right here on this slide. The answers are up on my website, mathsucks.org, if you wanna check those out. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe. Thanks so much for stopping by and happy calculating. Need more practice? Check out mathsucks.org for more questions. Link below. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Happy calculating.